I kind of like the really wide angle actually. So I want to try to get back into making videos just for the sake of flexing those creative muscles. So I wanted to start with kind of mock ads, different advertisements and marketing for companies just uh, about products that I'm passionate about. And so my friend Tyler showed me the dot card and he's already been working with them. He's done some things. He has like a TikTok ad for them that I've been shown on my For You page. So I figured I might as well toss my hat in the ring and try to make something for them too because it's a great product. I actually use it. I actually recommend it to people so why not make an ad for something I like you know what I'm saying the dot card is essentially an electronic business card you simply scan it through NFC or there's a QR code on the back and it brings up a nice page with all the information and of course there is no app required I'm not sponsored by them in any way they're not paying me so today we're gonna make a little commercial of sorts and I just want to document the process to turn it into a little video but buy a dot card tell them tell them I sent you tell them Tyler sent no because there's more Tyler, there's two Tylers. Send them a picture of me, just send them this image and say, that's that's why, this is the reason I bought the dot card. Let's, let's get started. Also, <laughs> you can't really see it. Gotta come all the way back here. But we are in sweatpants and slippers. A filmmaking pro tip, all that matters is what's in the frame. Anything outside of the frame is it doesn't exist, basically. I wanna be comfortable while I film this. I don't like button ups, so at least with the rest of my body, I could be comfy. Are you tired of handing out your terribly boring business card? With the power of the dot card, you could share your information just like that. So we got the we got the intro and outro done. Now just for the fun middle bits. I don't wanna break the setup down, it's so nice. I actually look really nice. I'm a very cute boy. I'm a very cute boy right now. Let me do one where I rip up my card just to like have that. That was my best business card. It's gone. It's gone forever. What will what will I do now? Hey Isaac. So I'm gonna mess with the the lighting a bit. I'm just doing kind of a, a test here, but we got the light shining. So I wanna have a, a top-down shot of holding out the dot card and someone tapping their phone to it, but it's gonna kinda cut between different locations. So we have a shot here. I also have tape. I need the card to be in the same place, so I use this tape on the screen to help me kinda line it up. So if you look at the actual shot, this is more or less what it will look like. And then we're just gonna move this entire setup to a couple different locations and that should make our nice match cut sequence. Decoration adds a lot to a video. Just adding some, some random objects to decorate the scene, even though it's not like I would ever have these arrangement of objects just like this on this table. At least the shot itself kind of looks nice. We're just gonna kind of do a wipe, swipe with my hand. I'm gonna swap out the cards here. And I'll just kind of mask my hand. I'll mask the shot. So, you know, I'll swipe past and the card will magically change. It's magic. Sleight of hand. I'm a magician. All right, so this is essentially going to be the only complicated shot, the only one that's going to require some effects. On your dot profile, there's your profile picture. It's in a circle. I wanted to, instead of have a picture, have me, in, you know, be in the profile picture, able to move and, like, interact with the page. I want to reach down and hit the button that's on the page. So I need to kind of set up the green screen so I can do that. Hold on, I need the other light in here too. Ugh. All right, easy. Okay, all right, so now the only other thing I need to worry about, I don't actually have like a way to hold up the green screen. Also hope there's no spiders on it. There was spiders on it last time. Are there spiders? There we go, there we go. Baba sababa. Pop on this light here. Crank it all the way up. Dot card, it's real, I gotta turn down the exposure. Okay, we got the lighting almost set up. We're gonna add this tube light. Cause my background in the pictures and stuff is purple. Cause also there's shadow back here. So I'm gonna try to light this up with purple and see how that goes. That doesn't really do anything actually. I don't know. All right, we got one more tube. This'll be fine, this'll be fine, everything's fine. A fully customizable page full of the information you want to share. And with the simple tap of a button, okay, that's gotta be good enough, right? That's gotta be good enough. He literally hit the gritty with the green screen. Ready for the sick transition? 
So again, my plan was to cut me out and put me onto the dot profile so that I could interact with it. So we started by just trying to mask out the circle so that I could place myself within it. Then I tried to key out the gray behind me, but that wasn't really working. As you can see, I look like the Hulk. So instead we decided that we're just gonna go ahead and rotoscope out my whole body. Thankfully, the built-in roto brush in After Effects does this flawlessly. And after a few minutes of waiting, it just cut me out perfectly. So we could then move on to actually creating the scene we wanted. Unfortunately, in order to get my hand to be its own independent thing and interact below, I had to cut it out frame by frame. That way my body was within the circle, but my arm could still be in front of the circle and interact with the profile below. So as you can see, now my arm is all by itself. I added a little drop shadow to make it seem like it's actually over the profile. I did a little color correction to make me feel like I was part of the profile. And then the final step was just to darken the save contact button once my hand came into contact with it to look as if I actually hit the button myself. So then for the final top down shot that I filmed, I actually had a tracking image up on my phone so that way I could track the scene and just put whatever I wanted onto the phone. In this case, it's the scene we just made with me in the dot profile. And that way, if I needed to adjust something rather than filming the top down scene again, I can just adjust the profile and it'll automatically update on my final scene with it on the phone. And that's pretty much the whole thing. We slapped it all together, threw in a couple sound effects, a background track, and this is the final results. Are you tired of handing out your terribly boring business card to someone knowing full well they'll end up lost or forgotten the second they get back to the office? You want something that will make you stand out, something that will make you memorable, because let's face it, we know your personality's not gonna be enough. This is the Dot Card, the only business card you will ever need. No matter where you are, with just a single tap, all of your information appears right on their device. A completely customizable page full of the information you want to share. But with a simple tap of a button, they can save all of your information right to their phone. With the Dot Card, you can share your your information just like that. Dot. The future of networking. So I'm incredibly happy with the final result. Hopefully you guys like it as well. Hopefully Dot likes it. Maybe they'll actually see it. Who knows? I also want to try to recreate certain things from music videos and movies I've seen, and of course continue to make ads for products I enjoy. But if you guys have any suggestions for things you want to see, or maybe some products you want me to make an ad for, let me know. After all, this is all about just flexing my creative muscles. So anything you guys throw at me, I would really appreciate. I'm just trying to make stuff for the sake of making things to keep on upping the portfolio and just having fun and trying new things. So any suggestion, any feedback, is very much appreciated. Hopefully you guys like this little breakdown of how things were made. I do plan to keep that up with anything I make in the future because sharing the knowledge is always helpful. So maybe this will inspire you or maybe you learned a thing or two, who knows? But uh, again, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.